Son. So it's very tiny. The way it's gonna work is uh when <clears throat> whoever we're rolling for at the time. Oh, I was getting disoriented because I saw the thing moving and I was, I was like, trying, I'm not doing that! I was trying to make it bigger so that you can yeah. see. Um, like, if we're rolling for Smarsh and we roll a d20 and it rolls an 8 for this month, Smarsh is the merchant or the shopkeeper in the town. Mm-hmm. Um, you know? And then, like, you know, you can, you can like, pick your subcategory or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be these two if you have another idea. Yeah, you can make it whatever you want. I just put those there for ideas. Um. So Smarsh rolled a six, so he's the Adventurer's Guild Leader. Smarsh, you're the Adventurer's Guild Leader! Kurt, that building is now the Adventurer's Guild. We've made yeah. it the Adventurer's Guild. Um, congratulations. Uh, you're the Adventurer's Guild Leader. Do you want to name the guild, or we could come up with a name for the guild, too? <clears throat> Um, and then we've got more than this. Like, I would like to eventually turn this into, like, role-playing in some way, even if it's just, like, text-based and, you know... Yeah, we still have to figure out how we can do that. Um... <laughs> no, you're the one that is rolling. So yeah, yeah, if perfect. you're here, we're you're, gonna let you roll for if it. If you're here, you're supposed to... You Well, you're not supposed to, but you can roll for it. That's, that's why but we now, put that command in there. Like on so. Rowney's sheet, we've got you in here. Oh, I'm um, sorry, you have spelled it, spell it with two R's. Yeah. Uh, get the identity right. <laughs> sorry. Okay, um, so now we need a name for our Adventurer's Guild. Um, hmm. The Smarshy Tavern. Well, I, you know... <laughs> Smarshmallows Tavern. I, well, don't, we can't call it Tavern. It's not a tavern, it's a guild hall. But it could it be... Could be it could be, like, the, the Marsh Fellows. Cause like marshmallow, right? You Smarsh, you're okay. cause Smarsh, your your thing is like marshmallows, right? <clears throat> It'd be like the Marshfellows Adventurers Guild. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't have to be that. That's yeah, just, no. <laughs> but that's just like you know, we are we're playing around the misled marshmallow marshmallows. The misled marshmallows. Okay. Leader of the misled marshmallows. But, to add yeah. an added bit of chaos to this, <clears throat> and of course, now that we're streaming, I'm losing my voice. Blech. Um, we have a random character creator, and also a random character trait generator. So let's see, so I'm gonna use a website, I don't know if I'm actually allowed to show this, but I'm gonna show it, so... This it's, is it's a small. It's a free fast character creator. I don't know if you, anybody here who likes D&D &D has ever seen this before, but it's actually pretty helpful. I've used it in the past when I needed to make like an NPC really quick, but we're going to see what our guild leader is. What is Smarsh, uh, the leader of the misled marshmallows? What, what class and everything are you? So we're going to have Smarsh be the name and then we're just going to not even set anything else and we'll just do it. You are a Oh, Le let me, I might really, I can make it bigger. What? Oh. I can, I can make it bigger too, but then. Okay. okay. Yeah. You so are... it completely randomizes it. You're a level 11 wizard? Jesus Christ. You're a level 11, 11 wizard. That's why you're the leader of the guild, obviously. Um, you're straight. <laughs> wow, look at all these uh, stats here. You have a negative one charisma. You're not a very charismatic leader, but you know. You do the best that you can, and people respect your intelligence So, uh, at a 19 there. Your alignment is chaotic neutral, so I like that about it. That feels right for an adventurer. It does. Shifting, you follow your shifting whims. You have a criminal background. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of criminal are you? <laughs> what kind of criminal I like, are you? I like to imagine they're just like, yeah, I didn't pay taxes like two years ago. <laughs> like, it, it, what, is the, the Adventuring Guild just a front for something? Oh, the Adventurer's or, Guild is the Thieves' Guild. The Adventure Guild is also the Thieves' Guild, maybe? I didn't put a Thieves' Guild in now that I think about it, so it could be. Who knows? Um, you are also a tabaxi, so you're a cat person. Can you person. pull up a picture of a tabaxi for... I don't know if Harmony's ever seen one. So you're a cat person. Here you go. Yeah. I like the bard, the backseat. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You're, you're, that's you. <laughs> you're chaotic neutral. Yeah, I definitely don't pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a write-off. That's a business business expense. It is a race. It is a race. It's a race that you can play. I think it's from... I want to say it's in... Xanathar's that the tabaxi version of? Maybe that. I don't know if that's right. But the tabaxi, it's not the regular player's handbook, but it is a race you can play. Um, and they do kind of have the personality of the Khajiit from Skyrim, basically. <laughs> I mean, we could have given you a lot right, more. Next, we could have given you a lot more. <laughs> but then but... it would have been very overwhelming, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Does it have an age in here? Oh, you're 44 years old. You are <laughs> you're old, a you're little gray in the fur. You're a little gray in the fur. Well, I just want to see your level 11 wizard. What's your strongest spell? Chain lightning. That's pretty. That's, that's yeah. pretty strong. I mean, like, you could essentially kill everyone in this village and they you would die. <laughs> well, we don't know yet. You're, there might be, like, a level 20 something in here. All right, anyway, I'm going to save. Yeah, we're going to save these so we can, like, follow along month to month. Because every month we do this, we're going to, like. I don't know if. We're, are we going to keep the character sheets or are we just going to reroll everyone every month? I'm trying to remember how I saved this before. Did I do, uh. If I save it, it saves it as a web page. And I don't remember. Maybe I did a, a snipping tool? Then I have to zoom back out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, this song kind of ops. Yeah, you could full screen it in screenshot. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Just gotta go back. I wish this screen. website had like an import feature where Roll20 so we could just import them in. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, it's something that we could ask them to do. I followed them on Kofi. Oh, the fast character? Yeah, they have a Kofi. If oh, anybody, okay. If anybody likes this or uses this, I gave I donated some money um to them today because I was going to be using them. Oh look, it's our it's our dragon Eevees. Our Dreevies. I forgot how to spell it. Wait, if it's a dragon Eevee and it gets its coin from Meowth, you know, now that I'm thinking about this, it would make more sense for like a Dratini to rub on it or something. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, but anyway, there's our um there's our guild leader of the misled marshmallows, a level eleven tabaxi wizard of the evocation school evoker, as yeah. it says. Criminal background. So wait, Great. we got we have a rank a flaw in trade generator, but this also does it, right? I don't think so. No, it doesn't. Wait, hold up. Well, it does do ideals. Oh, okay, I see. But we all you also have a website that does people's flaws and stuff, right? Uh, I do have this website, and now, now we're just showing off D&D randomizers. I like, this person also has a Kofi. It's a different person. Um, but I kind of like this one for the randomizer because um, they give you a generic picture, but then they also give you, like, it, this one doesn't have stats or anything, but it just gives, it's kind of funny to read, like, the random ideals yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So like you could you could randomly generate stuff on here and like get information on stuff like that. But I think we'll probably Generate. use the fast character yeah, yeah. stuff. Anyway. Alright. Okay. And so this oh I threw a button. There we go. So this is the adventurer's guild. That's the adventurer's guild oh, right I'm, there. I was baby. like, why isn't it pinging? But I was clicking on the other screen. Yeah. That's the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, right. yeah. Okay. Oh, wrong button. All right. Who's next? Well, Harmony's here. Harmony, Harmony you do you want to roll? roll for it? Take another bite of this brownie. I just pictured you being, like, white and death. And he's like, I'll take a chip with one hand, and I'll eat it. Look at Luna being a good kitty now. Yeah, my water. Wait, wait. This is off? What? <laughs> Oh, are you not a subscriber? Oh, uh, no, no, no worries. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Shh, we won't tell anyone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, do it. Yeah, how do you do it? Attic? Oh, there you go. There you go. And the button was hidden. No, no, no worries. Hold on. Hold, hold on. on. I'm hold fixing on. this. Hold on. Hold on. And that is actually a very smart thing to do. I don't know yeah. if I would have remembered. I'm subscribed to so many things, like, you know. I kind of want to remix this and make like a dumpstep trap remix of it. Yep. All right. There you go, Harmony. <laughs> Technically, I I <laughs> I spent five dollars and made two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> we know you're here all the time, and yeah. we know that you sub support us and subscribe to us. So, but the command I think is exclamation point roll d twenty. Man, these brownies are pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they as good as this cat? I mean, I'm so happy that she's sleeping there because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That has to count for something. It actually counts for 86 rerolls until we get the character you want. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get a reroll for every gift sub until you get the until you get the position in the town that you want. You got a four. The philosopher. Whoa. You. Uh. <laughs> So you're our town philosopher. It did it, yeah. You're our town philosopher, uh, Harmony. If that sounds appealing to you. Um, and the, I was kind of imagining you do be philosophizing. So you don't have to answer right away. Do we have like a town philosophy? Like what is the suburbs? Like you're our, our philosophical compass. It's just one big HOA. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, and your philosopher could be any kind of philosopher you want them to be. They could be the kind that's, uh, like, proclaiming things in the streets. Robert Frost quote? <laughs> the something, two, something... Two roads diverged road in the woods, traveled. and I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference. Sure. Sure. Get on my poetry level! I'm no, gonna, like I'm just gonna say something, something road less traveled. That way I'll remember. It's like <laughs> vaguely telling people to adventure, but not to adventure yeah. too far. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? There we go. We've only got an adventurer's well, guild we right now, so they, it, it, it tracks. Prime advisor um, is Marsh. There you go. No tears in the writer, oh. no tears in the reader. Okay, I'm going to put that down. No tears in <laughs> the... Top philosophy is just no. <laughs> writer, no tears in the reader. Wow, that's so deep, Philosopher Harmony. <laughs> that's so deep. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Harmony is our town philosopher. Our town philosophy is no tears in the writer, no tears in the reader. You know what? It kind of goes perfect uh, for D&D, &D, honestly. So you know, <laughs> this is kind of a tangent, but I was laughing. It was like news at work today. Mm -hmm. Um... So guess what book Oprah took out of her book club because of what's going on in Ukraine? She was like, we're taking out, uh... It wasn't Pride and Prejudice, my brain just broke. Crime and Punishment. Uh, and everyone was like, how does this help anyone? Yeah, right? <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, you can still read it. It's yeah. Just she took it out of her book club. I know. Alright, anyway, let's see what kind of uh, character Harmony is here. Our money. Let's see. All right, our town philosopher is actually a level nine cleric. That kind of makes sense. A mountain dwarf. Um, folk hero background. There you go. And you're a neutral good, which neutral seems like an alignment for a philosopher, so that kind of tracks, right? Um. You're not very dexterous or intelligent, but you are very wise, which <laughs> makes which you know, could work. The dwarf everyone is mad about? What? Is there somebody who says Who's mad at the dwarves? Oh, get Lord of the Rings, because the black oh. yeah, the black dwarves, right? Yeah, exactly. Lord of the Rings, yeah, yeah. That's and you're our town philosopher.
her, which I think is perfect. Yeah. Honestly, let's just I do could it. also see Harmony in real life being a slight utilitarian. Okay. Um, which kind of makes sense with the neutral good. Sure. Yeah, ah. neutral good. And yeah, you have the folk hero background, which means most people kind of just like you. Um, except for I do see a flaw here that says once you accidentally set a village on fire, is <laughs> is your flaw? I don't know how you did that, but I love it for you. Can you draw that? Backstory. Can you make a comic of that? Me? <laughs> no, how many? Oh. I, I want to know. Oh yeah, we don't talk about that anymore. Yeah, that's why they're really big on the no tears thing because they. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's... Um, let's see. Wow, you have a lot of actually really interesting things here. You were born for a special destiny. You're seeking missing family. You blame devils for all ills. You suffer claustrophobia <laughs> in your tight spaces. You have so much more stuff than Smart, Smart Chad. I mean, he's a crime lord that runs the Adventurers Guild, I guess, but... Oh, boy. This dwarf... This dwarf <laughs> philosopher is a complicated character. Here we go. This um, is all weirdly accurate. <laughs> Let's see, what, what do you got uh, in here? I just want to see what spells you got. Commune with city. What the fuck is that? That's a ho some homebrew shit. Yeah. Raise dead so you can bring people back from the dead. Uh, and yeah, you got you got some interesting stuff in here. Okay. Oh man, this is, <laughs> this is really good. This is so good. Okay. All right, wait, wait. We gotta pick which house Harmony's gonna live in. Oh yeah, you do that while I take a picture of the character sheet. You have a. Uh, Interest in any of them, Harmony? Excuse you? Small bird. Yo, I really like... I've, I've, I've listened to this playlist before, but I, I forgot how good the special... Uh, or the stream beats, like, blow by is. The... Yeah, like, Dragon Ball, like... This is very Greek... Russian inspired, like Orthodox Russian. It reminds me of the Kremlin. What does? This. Oh, this little house? Yeah. The spherical one. It kind of looks like. I live next to Smart. I always felt like Red Square in Moscow was designed by Willy Wonka. Okay. Just the way everything is built. Yeah. But, anyways, alright, so everyone's living together right now. Everyone's living together. Not literally, but... Alright, I love it so far. I love what we got going on so far. They this do is look great. mighty flammable. <laughs> <laughs> and you do have a tendency to accidentally burn things down. Let me know if you need... <laughs> but you see, like, I think it would be hilarious to have a Discord server in the future where, like, people could do stuff and Roddy could just, like, like, have these sheets and be like, so you want to, like, try and sneak contraband into the city, roll me, like, a d20, and, like, I'll look up on your character sheet and see if I think this should happen. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. I already just, just picture me setting the town on fire saying, no tears in the writer. No tears in the arena! Just yelling. Like, I like to imagine, though, it's, like, a mystery in the town. Like, every time a fire happens, that's, like, spray-painted in red paint on the ground, and they're like, who keeps doing this? I imagine it more, like, Harmony's just yelling it, and the townspeople are just like, well, uh, I guess we gotta start rebuilding <laughs> rebuilding again. Harmony burned the town down again. Oh, boy. <sighs> Ooh, oh, okay. Working. Okay. Uh, do they want to roll, or shall we do the roll for them? I'm down for whatever. Whatever they would like to do. This is great. Harmony, I love that you're the town full out philosopher. I was worried some people would find this boring, but this is really fun. This is great. This is so great. <laughs> oh. Oh. Man, I'm gonna build all of my DC villages like this from now on. Hey. Oh, okay, hello. Okay. Alright, yeah, so you want us to roll for you? We'll go ahead and do the do the honors then. We got it. We're on it. Is it one D? I think it's just D twenty. A ten. Oh, a ten. Okay, let's. Oh, guess what? 
She's hot. You're Rod the mayor. Mass, I'm like, oh, you're the mayor. You're the mayor of the town. Congratulations. You're the wow. mayor of suburbia. Wow, you've just been elected. Mayor of suburbia sounds like a Green Day song. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, Lilu is uh, is the mayor. And she's playing Mass Effect. Okay, yeah. Uh, I respect that deeply. I love Mass Effect so much. Um, so Lilu uh, is the mayor. Yeah, you can, I mean, honestly, you could pick whichever house, because you're the mayor, so you kind of get... Yeah. I mean, the, I think I was going to have the mayor one be the double one at the top. The so big, that, that, that bigger one, yeah. That's the mayor house. And I, I was also going to ask whoever got elected as mayor if they wanted to throw down an edict, a town edict. Is there any kind of... Like, <laughs> yeah. what is the, like rule number one in the town that we must follow? No one tell her about the dodgy people <laughs> in this town. <laughs> we, should, uh, we should take this one day and make all Sims characters of this. That's true, we could do that. Alright, <laughs> so we're living here. Okay, so you're living there. Uh, you don't have to think of an edict, but if you want to, I thought it might be funny. It could yeah. literally be whatever you wanted, like... People have to wear matching pants and shirts or something. This, I don't this know. reminds me but of when we did a D and D one shot with my group, and I'm gonna get the all of our characters. Out. She's on the iPad, so it's slightly delayed. Ah, okay. Um, but we all were from the same house. Everyone was drinking the tavern on Friday. And, <laughs> oh, it is yeah. long. Oh, this is a great town. Okay, everyone must. Drink in the town on Friday. <laughs> I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. Um, <laughs> hell yeah. But uh, all of our characters were from Waterdeep except for Connors, and Connor was like, I, I don't know anything about the local customs. Please tell me about them. And I was like, Every you you forgot, and I will let it go this time because you didn't know. But it is traditional in this town to do a backflip upon meeting someone for the first time. <laughs> uh -huh. If you don't do it, it's deeply offensive. So Connor's a half orc with like eight dexterity trying to do backflips oh my God. every time he meets a new person. That's so good. All right, let's see what our mayor uh, is. What's our mayor? I gotta zoom in a little bit here. You're a level oh my 20? God. <laughs> You're a level 20 They're an Oathbreaker. Oathbreaker, lizard, folk, criminal background. You're probably actually hanging out with Smarge, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You're a mayor, and I see your fly here is you're a secret spy for the royal family. So if we get any royals in here, yeah. you're, you're secretly working for them. This whole town is corrupt. This whole operation is just... This is... Your chaotic evil alignment? Oh my <laughs> god. But look at how strong you are. Five plus five to your strength. Twenty strength. This is why I'm the mayor. This is why I'm the mayor. Everyone respects you and fears you. <laughs> they are gonna drink on Friday, damn it. Cause they're otherwise they're worried about what might happen to them. But yeah, this is great. Oh, oh boy, I love this. <laughs> Essentially, this is like if your town was run by a demigod. Right? <laughs> Oh god, this is so good. I love it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What's the name of that hand emote? Wait, 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 wait. 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 Hand? The one harmony just did. Alright, let's see. I'm <laughs> just looking at these traits here. Your kin are excellent at blood sports, uncomfortable when among civilization. It's ironic that you're a mayor then. <laughs> Chaos is the law of nature. Order is the rambling of ignorance. Oh boy. There we go. There you go. There you go. Yes. Alright, well this is great. We have a paladin, level 20 paladin oath break. See, you were worried about Smarsh killing everybody as the wizard. He couldn't even lay a finger on the mayor, so... Very true. <laughs> The leaders are guild leaders because Lilu let you be exactly. Yes. <laughs> See, the See? stories are yeah, forming. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Yes, this is perfect. Oh, this is so good. Okay, let me save this uh, this character sheet. I really love... I really want to use this someday, like these towns that we're going to create in an actual game. And then, like, 
the characters are gonna walk in, my players, and they're gonna be like, what the hell what is, is going happening? On here? What the hell is this place? <laughs> oh, so good. I, I hope someday Stream Beats comes out with like a medieval soundtrack. This 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 music is called Fantasy Arcade. Yeah. Which kind of fits, but I think it would be even cooler if you just had like like pan flute in the background. Yeah. Also, I have this like weird rash on my wrist. Oh yeah. It looks like you have like that happens when I get like dry skin on my be. hands, you know yeah. that kind of thing. All right. Anyway, good job. All right. This is great. Okay. Who's next? So yeah, who are we gonna do next? We've done. Well, let's just start at the top. It's it's time for Ronnie's mom. Let's do yeah. My, my mom is the first subscriber. D G B B K. <laughs> All right. So we'll put her. We'll 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 do her. She's not probably not gonna be here. And I, we'll we'll see what happens. Okay, a seven. She's Your the mom local is the bard. bard. I don't know why I did it all caps. Uh, because you fear your mother. All right, she's a local bard, and I was gonna ask the local bard if they were here. Like, do we have like a town song, and like what would be the title of that song? Baby shark. <laughs> it's not baby shark. No, no, no. <laughs> but she's not here, so we can come up with. A town song instead. Oh, it's clearly up by Carney. And when I say we, I mean not just yeah. me and Ian. I mean anybody in chat if you yeah, want. Yep. Because Ian's ideas are <laughs> he's Baby Shark and up by <laughs> a Cardi B. <laughs> so. Um. Mr. Brightside. Okay. The local song. Or All Star. The. The town song. Despacito. I'm just. Oh my god, are you just yelling out <laughs> titles? Yeah. Just yelling out titles? Um. What was the one that used the killers one? Mr. Brightside. I'm gonna say Mr. Brightside because I like that one. Are we human? That's not even the right song. I know, song. but that song is better and it's underrated. Okay, well. The killer's new album is Augers. Is it? Oh, yeah. I didn't. Oh, she's a lizard. I was like, I didn't even look at what uh, race the mayor was. They're lizard folk. Anyway, uh, let's see. Our town bard. It's gonna be funny if they're not a bard. <laughs> Let it burn by Usher. <laughs> burn by. Usher? I don't know if I know that Usher because, song. Because, because you want to burn down the town. <laughs> Okay, we got another wizard mountain dwarf. Dwarf. Oh. Um. Level nine. Level nine. Lawful good. At least, well, their charisma sucks, so they probably suck at uh, singing. Well, it doesn't suck. They're exactly average. They're exactly average. They're pretty smart, though. And they're lawful good, so they're gonna listen to. Uh, um. This is why we saved them. You, I think you were a cleric. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. a cleric. You are a cleric. You can determine whoever you would like to uh, derive your divine powers from. I don't think that it says it on here at all. Turn on that. I'm trying to see what the other channel spears of this. I think you're a home. I think you're a homebrew uh, cleric. I thought honestly. you were gonna say a home body. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ronnie's mom is a cleric who's exactly average. But because they're smart or wi wizard, um, they're not very good at music. Mm, here we go. They're exactly average. Traits exaggerates all stories. Once what? was seduced by a succubus. <laughs> <laughs> what I was gonna say is because they're smart. You know, there's there's people who know they can sing. Julie Andrews, Liza Minnelli, people like that, right? But there are Broadway stars who are not that good of singers. They're just really good at character voices. Yeah. So, like, if you're smart enough, you, you go into that kind of field. Here's their ideal. Ain't stealing if not caught. They 
also have a flaw. Claims credit for others' infamy. So this is a this is a great town bard we yeah. got right here. Like I'm imagining a really like Gild Gilderoy Lockhart. Lockhart personality for this bard mm -hmm. uh, with the pirate background. So I'm imagining them doing a lot of sea shanties, actually. Yeah. Um, that type of thing. This is great, but there they're a wizard. Was a bard who went to see the name of the bar was Server B. <laughs> there we go. All right, so there's our local bard. All right. Well, Randy's saving. Up next. Well, I'm we're gonna we're gonna do us last. So up next is Cheska. Ooh, hold on. For people who don't know, two of our friends, the twins, Tina and Cheska. Um, they were actually just here last week. Um, they also hang out here sometimes. I want to, uh, text them. Look at her. Slowing down the stream. No, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Roddy is summoning our kin. Let's take a second to vibe. Yeah, that's right. Look Ooh. at the Luna while we, we wait. Oh, look at her sleeping. So cute. Such a cute little baby. Look at how sleepy she is. Sleepy baby. Aren't they? They're probably at their D D session. That's on Wednesday. Oh, you're right. I thought today was Wednesday for some reason. Today's Monday. They said 10 minutes. Okay, we're, we're so, going on. So, let's um, do somebody else. Um, <laughs> next is my former co-worker, Dave. Um, Dave, okay. You are draving me crazy. Dra <laughs> That's a long-ass name! Uh, I'm just gonna put Draven for whatever we roll for him. Okay. So go ahead and roll... Give us our D20. Let's see what Drave is. AKA Dave. A four. We already rolled that one. It's a philosopher. So Are they a student of Harmony? Now, now I, they could be a student of the philosophy of Harmony. <laughs> Burn everything. Or we could re-roll. But like I was gonna let who, whoever we were rolling for make that choice, but they're obviously not here, so. Yeah. What do we what do we think? I don't know. Does Harmony want a student or <laughs> Harmony? I know this is a lot of pressure, but as the head philosopher of the village, I guess it is up to you. Do you want a student to study underneath you? Or should we re-roll and try to <laughs> The fires are a metaphor. It's be cleansed in the sacred okay. fire. Um, so what was his his thing? Dravis or something? Draven? I choose not my students to fire excuses. <laughs> um, um, yeah, but their username is Draven. Okay, I'm gonna and I'm just gonna put in quotes. The fires are a metaphor. Can't spell metaphor. <laughs> They're actually meth. So they are your student. They are not the head philosopher, only you are the head philosopher of the village, so they, they study underneath That you. means you have to give them room and board. Uh, <laughs> if you want to, I mean, philosophers be crazy. It could be like, you get to live on the street for a year or something, you know? Alright, Draven. Let's see, what is our student of philosophy? Okay, it kind of makes sense, he's a warlock. Let me zoom in here. And you can also hold control plus to do the same thing you're doing. Gotcha. He's a were-tiger? What the fuck? Uh, okay. A genie of Earth? He's going to see. <laughs> That's from Tasha's, for sure. Oh. Uh, okay. It's a were-tiger, warlock, dwarf cleric. Harmony is trying to cleanse the sins of others through fire. Wow, this is getting intense. <laughs> this is going, like, fire force levels, you know? All right. They are completely neutral, which again kind of makes sense for uh, our philosopher here, so that makes sense. Let's see. Not very smart, not very wise, so that's why they're the student and not the teacher. Um, they are pretty charismatic though, I gotta say. And let's see, what do we got? 
They have a sailor background. I just want to see if we have anything good. It has a the lover, lover in every, every port. port. They're horny. Okay. Um, says anything to avoid work. Honestly, feels right for a philosopher too. So, like, <laughs> just go ahead and put that down. They're younger too. I think twenty three. You know, I love that they're a wear tiger because that's just so random. You don't see that very often. Yeah, but they're low level, so it kind of tracks. But all right, so there's there's Draven. I love it. What kind of pact is it? I guess we don't. Oh, pact of the tome. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. There we go. Let me save uh, our Draven. Next our philosophy up student is Keo. Ooh, Keo. Keo's username changed because they got locked out of their old account. Uh, so it's still the same, but instead of being K-Y-O, it's K-J-O. Okay. Okay, so this is K-J-O. Keo. Yeah, but I would still just put Keo. Yeah, yeah I haven't Keo, seen Keo in a while either. They, well, they moved to Germany, but then they got really bad COVID and they had to move back to Italy. Yeah, but yeah. So they I, stopped in like a month ago on a Friday stream, and I was streaming alone and hung out with me for like an hour. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I miss seeing Kyo around, but at the very least, Kyo will get to be a part of this. Maybe we could send a clip of this to Kyo to Kyo so that he could see, you know, yeah. where he is in the D and D village. Um. All right. So let's go ahead. Oh, you know and what we haven't been thinking about. Okay, so we've got Harmony's house. We've got Smarsh's house. Where, where's your mom living? Uh, she's the bard, so I figured she just had room and board at the, the tavern. tavern. That that would she's make room sense. Room and board at the tavern. She kind of lives in one of those like s s rooms that are like the size of a closet type thing. Yo, yo, yo! He's like, what the heck? Why are you people saying my name? Um. All right. And then we got the mayor's we house. We got the mayor's house, yeah. Right, so that's everyone for now. Alright, so let's do... Let's, let's roll for Keo. See what job we're gonna give Keo. <laughs> I'm so excited. A 14. Alright, they are the local witch. Oh, baby! <laughs> KJO, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna put Keo. Yeah, we no. Know it's Keo. It's, yeah, they just changed. So, it. all right, Keo is our local witch. Um, I actually didn't think of something to ask the local witch to come up with. Like, what would be something that a witch would be? Are they like okay? Are they like a white witch who helps the town, or well, are they like that? Would be up to them, but uh, yeah, we can decide. Yeah, that's all I was gonna say. The I feel like the vibe of this town, they're like an evil witch. They're like you know, they're like a little spicy. Or you I was know? gonna ask, are they like the witch? Like, like the Ray Bradbury style stories where, like, they there's a haunted house on the edge of town all the kids know about and they break in and there's always some kind of adventure. Yeah, maybe. Like, I like the idea of Kyo not being at the 15th. The, oh, I did put Thieves Guild on there. Yeah. The Thieves Guild actually is, um, just put that, just mix that in with the Adventurers yeah. Guild since they're the same. I, I didn't think I put them on there, but I did put them in there. The Thieves Guild, yeah. Alright, Q is our local witch. I feel like the, it's like a borderline evil witch, but she probably... Oh, I spelled it wrong. You did. Oops. Well, you know what? This is the problem with, uh... I told you! I, E, and E, I, especially if you're pretty fluent in French. I was gonna say, this is the problem with Excel. It doesn't tell grumpy. me when I spell things wrong. <laughs> anyway, okay. So... What are you saying? I like the idea of, like, uh, Kyo being a witch that she lives here, or he lives here, because... Like, this whole town is kind of nefarious, and they know that they can kind of get in on that nefarious business as well. So, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I could put for the local witch. Let's roll a character sheet first. And see and what see, happens, yeah. And see what we get from Keo. And then we'll determine. 
there once was a witch who lived Her in warlock! Oh, okay. Also genie. Genie of fire, though. What did you say to do? Control what? Control bus. Uh, air croca! A bird! Bird person. Okay. I like that. Rick and Morty. Let's see. Charisma is good. Wisdom is alright. They're not very smart. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Chaotic neutral. A lot of chaotic and neutrals in this town so far, except for the mayor, who's the lawful evil, I think it was. <laughs> um, hey, they're actually a member of the guild. <laughs> it says they guild merchant background. <laughs> uh, so maybe they trade in to, like, help... Maybe, yeah, they're like the Teamsters. Like, yeah, this is maybe. like a union of evil people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... They are desperate for a noble title. Oh. Maybe maybe there's something going on where they're trying to like oust the mayor, or, like use the mayor the to mayor's give them influence. A, the mayor's influence to get like a title or something. Yeah. Yeah. But they're only level six, so they're not that powerful of a local witch, but still. Okay. Alright, I like that. I like that. Go ahead and save Keo here. Take a new snip, please. And you sent the sketch of the dwarf. I took some liberties with the hair. <laughs> I'm excited. Wait, can we pull it up on stream? Do you care? I can't see because Randy's cup is too damn tall. I'll just take a little sip. Ooh. Oh, wait. There we go. You're so fast. Wow, yeah, that was so fast. <laughs> I like it. I like the little braid, too. That's yeah. something I always love about dwarves, is I want them to be, like, have all those, like, really intricate braids and, like, the pieces of jewelry in, like, their beards and their hair and stuff, you know? Like... I, um, I saw, like, a really cool... Someone had facial hair like mine, and they had grown this part really long and just braided this part, uh -huh. like, over the top of, like, the normal bit. And I was yeah. like, I should do that. This... I mean, this really does look like our town philosopher. Right it here. does. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, nice. Did I save this already? I can't remember. Oh, I did. But, okay. oh. Alright, so that's good. We got Keo. Nefarious. Which. Vying. Is that how you spell that? Yeah. For a noble title. In the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't know why, but I just picture like a noble title in the suburb and be like local manager of Walmart, <laughs> you know? Yeah, we're not very, uh, as you can see from the picture, this is the first suburbs. We've not grown into anything drastically wealthy yet. We're not very opulent, but we do have some nice, some and nice because buildings. Keo, well, we know where Keo They're up here in the witch house. Yep, they're in the witch house. <laughs> Alright, who do we got next? Alright, who, yeah, who's next? Square Melix. I think this was someone that Smarsh gifted a sub to. Oh. If I'm not confusing it. Okay. Square Melix. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Do you want to roll for them, Smarsh, or do you trust us? The I mean, it doesn't really matter. Trust. It's up to the. It's up to. It's the, all up the, to chance. The dice gods. It's all up to the dice gods whether they are. Benevolent, or whether they are the first person that gets the boring job of. Oh, they're a partner. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. Smarsh gifted subs to famous people. Dang. Roll the money. Sixteen. Okay, that's. They're good. a lord they're, or lady. They are. They're a lord or lady. Of, uh, they're a noble. They're a noble. That reminded me of the, the hundredth episode of Your Grammar Sucks. Where they do like, they read the comments that they're obviously wrong, and the skit, the guy like hangs up the phone, and they're like, "Good news," and he's like, "I just found out I'm gonna be an aunt or an uncle." I don't think I could be an aunt, but I could be an uncle. And they're okay. like, "I don't think it works." That's like that. how it works, yeah. Um, so for the nobles, I was going to ask them, how did they get their title, or? Is there something that, like, their Target family is, Keo. is, like, fa fa famous for? What did you say? Target of Keo. <laughs> yeah, <they're> 
<laughs> okay, so how did how did uh me likes um get their noble title? We'll say yeah, were they born into hold, hold it? On. Did they do some kind of favor? Because they're not here, so now I feel like for the people that aren't here, we could kind of roll the character sheet and then come yeah. up with something. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of funnier when people come up with something and then we roll the character sheet and it's like completely crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, but no, yeah. I, I don't like, I don't know. Like, I, Just, yeah, roll the sheet. Roll the sheet. Let's see. M, what was that? How did. Oh, you want to see it? Melix. Okay. Or Melix. Square. Melix. They're a barbarian? Ancestral, <laughs> guardian. Ancestral guardian. So they probably, like, guarded, uh, like, a noble child or something and were, like, adopted into the family. Oh, there you go. Like, in, in the Thrawn thing? I mean... That's not really what Ancestral Guardian means, but it could be that. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah. But, like, you know, in, in the Chiss Ascendancy in Star Wars, you can be adopted into a noble family, and then you're, like, a, a ranking ranking cousin or something like that, is what you're called. Like, you're not, like, a main part of the family, but you're, like, in the lineage, you know, now. Okay. Um... And they're a tiefling, and they're a folk hero. I like this. Mistakes wealth for, for wisdom. Seems the right for a noble. Um, oh, wait, we found Elon Musk. Shares home with 13 cats. Hell oh, yeah. Scattered. This is the dream. I want this. Um, thinks might makes right. Okay. So that's the kind of noble Melix is. So I feel like, uh, right? This is a moon. I feel like um, they. They got their title by doing some, like, brave act, like you said. Yeah. Um, title by, well, say, saving a, another young noble. Something like that. Yeah, or I was even thinking something as simple as, like, you know, child is Maybe born. Maybe a prince. Like, child is born, and they're, mm -hmm. like, assigned to be the bodyguard, and they did it well enough where they had no instance that the family was like, you're now one of us. Got their title by protecting a another young noble. That's how they got their title. I mean, let's be honest, the most dangerous thing to a child is themselves. <laughs> True. Their alignment is chaotic good. So they're good. Um they actually seem like they're probably the the goodest person in the town right now. Um, but they're not very smart, so, um, it's a problem. <laughs> Since they're surrounded by evil and chaotic aligned Jimmy individuals. Ed and Ed. That, but maybe you guys, like, it's endearing to you that they're the noble or something like that. Yeah. They're a tiefling, too, so something, uh, you know. Okay. Alright, let me save this one. Can I, like, use the mine at all? Yeah. Look, Look at that. Look at that. Um. John is next. Oh, John's not here for this? No. He did send me a really funny Elden Ring video I got to send you earlier, though, because he knows it's my obsession. Okay. The most noble person we're allowed down. There. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. Okay, John. Go ahead and roll. I'm gonna say you are more than capable of t handling John's duties. Oh, you know it. <laughs> we already got a 14. That's the local witch. Re -roll. That can only be re -roll. one. That can only be one. This is the first re-roll of the night. Okay, they could be also a lord. Why are they not rolling any other? I don't know. No, we're not doubling okay. up with John. Okay, we're not rolling. He gets his own. Jesus! What the heck? Can you only roll? Hold on, let me try. Let me try. Maybe it's because you just keep doing it. Roll. D20. 10. I think we got that That's before. the mayor! It's the mayor! God damn it! It just rolls the same five numbers over and over again. Hold on, I'm just gonna copy paste it until we get something different. 12? 12. I don't think we got a 12 yet. 
He is the town messenger. That would be a good thing for John. So he delivers everybody's That's mail. actually one of John's things in real life. Is that he tries to deliver instructions in the most clear way possible. Which sometimes makes people think he's being, like, pedantic and demeaning. Because he'll be like, you're gonna go down the flight of stairs, look left. You're gonna see a door, but it's the door to the right of that door. You know, it's very, very direct. And you're like, I'm not an idiot. I was going to ask the messenger, like, what was the most ju the juiciest piece of mail or like the juiciest message they've ever delivered in this town you know that kind of thing he delivers the bribes <laughs> oh there we go yeah he delivers that's good the bribes I was gonna say cause John and, and I like to talk about like pieces of music that are supposed to be like cursed real songs you know uh -huh. by, like composers who are mad Mm -hmm. And I was like, maybe John has like been delivering illicit magical materials to the he, witch. Yeah, he deliver he delivers the bribes, and yeah, maybe he's like the go between with the witch and everything. I don't know. This is like some sh some sh shady shit here. Yeah. I'm All right. Message John. Let's see. Let's see what our messenger is. It's gonna be funny if he's like a level twenty something. John. I'm just calling him John. So. You don't want to call him J. Pori Logos? <laughs> I could call him John P. <laughs> because, like, uh, he calls himself J. Pori Logos because Logos is hot in Greek. He is another warlock genie, but this one's water. We're getting every single elemental type of genie. We just need air, and then we'll have a warlock of each element here. Yo! Hey, Cheska! What's up? Welcome to the D&D village that we're building. Uh, we just... Got the role of our messenger, town messenger, uh, John. John. And he is, he's he's fast. He's he's a warlock. He's also a were tiger. We got a couple were tigers. We got like a whole pack of them here, springing up in this village. Um, chaotic neutral. Okay, let's see. He was raised by a disguised silver dragon. <laughs> this is actually the Witchers. Uh, he sings hymns and proverbs non-stop. Wow. And he likes to recover lost relics, so there you go. The man is non-stop. Ladies non -stop. and gentlemen of the jury. Non-stop. Okay, I love, I love it, I love it. history? His background is religious, so we'll just say he... We don't have a clerical person yet. I mean, we have our cleric, we have, we have cleric, our philosopher, but, yeah. but we don't have, like, our temple leader just yet. So, John... Whoever ends up being the temple leader and determines what our faith is, John is a big follower of that. He loves that. He sings the hymns all the time. He's all about it, you God know. Rest ye merry, gentle man, let nothing you All right, so we got our we got our our philosopher was born up on this day. We got our our messenger that delivers bribes for the corrupt mayor and uh, adventurers guild. All right, I just we I'm gonna take a second and show off how. God damn cute Luna is. You see this baby? Right here. Look at her. I'm so glad that we put that cat tree there. She has literally become one with this circle. She loves, she, and it's so funny because if you see Gizmo in it, Gizmo doesn't take up nearly that much space in this cat tree. <laughs> and Luna loves this cat tree and she sits there and there and it, it fills her whole, her whole body fills it. Fluffy baby. Alright. We go back to looking fancy with the background blur. Luna, <laughs> I miss her. She's so cute. Alright, Cheska. It's your turn. Yeah. So And just explain a little bit here. We've already rolled some of these rolls, as you can see. If you roll a roll that somebody else has already gotten, that either means you're gonna be their underling. That's <laughs> it, we're coming back. Or you can re-roll and attempt to get a position that has not been filled yet. Um, and then after we assign your job in the town, we're going to give you your stats and let you know what your character is and what role they play in the town. Okay. So if you do exclamation point, roll, roll D20. D20. In chat. In chat. It roll will those roll, D20s in it chat. It will roll a D20 and then we can determine what you would get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you roll 
you do exclamation point R O L L D and then two zero, and it will roll for you. And then we'll tell you about what your job in the town is. A nine. I don't think we've gotten that one. You're the town banker. Ah, capitalism, run! <laughs> you are a town banker. Um, I have, well, maybe not bad news for you. You live in a pretty, <laughs> yes! <laughs> you live in a pretty corrupt town. Uh, the Thieves Guild and the mayor are kind of dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's a crooked Like, money. literally everybody so, is a criminal except for one person. A lot of people, uh, the one, my job is math and that's it, exactly. Um, yeah, so you're the banker. Ooh, is there anything that you want to add specific about your baker you do it looks like you're handling the you could be handling the crooked money in the town there's one noble in town who's kind of a good person maybe you work for them everybody else is seemingly part of the criminal underground here um so it's up to you whatever you would like your baker to be i hope i get to be the town crier but i'm not gonna deliver messages i'm literally just gonna cry <laughs> okay <laughs> Always skim some off the top. Alright, I'm putting that as your quote. I, I like to imagine it doesn't only apply to bank, like, money. You, like, pour a beer and you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and just so you know, Cheska, um, our town edict by our mayor is everyone must drink on Friday, so... Yeah, reality is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, exactly. Hey, my dwarf thinks what they're doing is good. You know, we don't have an actual religious leader yet, so right now, Harmony, you're, you're, you are the F so ethical So I'm assuming compass, I guess. you're, we're gonna, the, the banker, do we have a bank in town? We don't have a bank, but I figured they'd get one of the nicer houses, so, uh, maybe that Probably one Probably this one. Big. That one's pretty big. Your, your yeah, doors are facing house. away from all the other riffraff that live up here. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's see. What Cheska is. And the name's going to be Fran Tastic. I hope you're strong, because you gotta be holding people off from robbing this bank. I mean, I guess you're getting, uh, paid by the crime. Why leaders. are all the paladins in this town Oathbreakers? Um, what the fuck is this race? Auto Gnome? Auto Gnome? It says you're a construct. Does that mean you're like, a uh, Oh, fuck, what are they called? What are the actual construct race that... From um, Eberron? My brain wants to say, uh, golems, but that's not right. Nope, that's not right. I'm gonna go to D&D Beyond and look it Eberron, up really quick. Oh, not to Eberron. Eberron Constructs. I'm Warforged. Oh, yeah, you, you're right. You're I right, thought you're about right, it you're after. You're right. All right. You, you give it out chasty loans. I'm going to offer you a bribe right now. Hide the true value of the guild's worth. The misled Marshmallow's account is much bigger than what the big records show, right? <laughs> I guess you're a gnome made out of... Oh, it's a gnome made out of gears. Okay. Is this from something? Is this... Or is this like a homebrew thing? Two account books. The... The, the lore one, deepens. The fake one and the real one. I love it. I love this. This is great. And you're neutral evil, so this is actually perfect. Um, I have to say, it's sad to say, you're actually not very smart. But you know what? You're really fucking strong, so maybe people respect that about you. <laughs> um, and you are an Oathbreaker Paladin. The, the mayor of the town is also an Oathbreaker Paladin, so maybe you broke your oaths together or something. Oath breaking burger. You know, yeah. you lack compassion. That sounds right. You control over others also sounds right. One for the public, one for us. <laughs> Let's see. You deserted from the royal army. Oh. This one says show to the IRS. <laughs> this one says never show. The IRS. Both account books are called. <laughs> They're actually the same account book and they don't realize it. Yes. Like the cover, it's one of those books where the cover could be both ways. So they open it one way and it says do not show the IRS, but you flip it over and it says show the IRS on the back. <laughs> this is funny because your flaw is that you're ignorant of technology, but you yeah. yourself are a construct made of, of gears. 
So I think that's hilarious. I guess you don't have to repair yourself. Somebody else can. <laughs> you think I give out all these bad loans? <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a clerical error. That wasn't actually. Don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good. It's like that commercial. Was that that might have been only a commercial back home, but it was like they sold. You could buy. They would buy clothes from you, and they were like, "I buy it." Yeah, remember that? I do remember was that. Was that local? <laughs> Anyways, all right. Well, there you go. So that's you. Um, well, let me save this. If there's anything else that you want to add about your yourself, speak now. We are saving all these, so later if we decide to get more Airport Plaza Jewelers, that's what it was. <laughs> that's right, that's what that it was. That was definitely local. <laughs> Everyone else in chat is like, what are these weirdos <laughs> talking about? Um. Alright, beautiful. I love it. I love it. So this up is next so good. is Freddie B, who was a member was a member of my cohort when I was doing my masters. Okay, Freddie B. All right, let's see. What's Freddie B gonna be? Their name is Becca. They are a two. Oh, we have it. They are the tavern owner. Oh, one the away from being a the, brothel. They're one away from being. We haven't gotten anybody in the brothel yet. Freddie B, like this. B E E, yeah. Okay. They are the tavern owner, so we need a name for our tavern. We can use a randomizer, or we can have chat. Owns whatever the tavern's name is. Yeah, you do. We can come up with it together, or we can just think of one. Okay, I feel like it has to have some kind of like shady kind of name. The Oathbreaker. <laughs> Harmony's quote. This is her. This is her philosophical. Her philo or their philosophy quote. Sorry. Um. I'm. I'm. Just, Look at oh right here, right here. No tears of the right, no tears of the reader. Also, Harmony's character had a flaw where they accidentally burnt down a town <laughs> one time, so that's why their underlings uh quote is the fires are a metaphor. So The honey pot. Ooh. I was also thinking the oathbreaker, because there's so many oathbreakers in this town. I like the honey pot yeah. though. That's a really good one. That's a good one. The honey pot. Oh, this is this is great. The tavern is closed <laughs> on Friday. There's one Ooh. law that the tavern you have to drink There's in the tavern. One law you have to drink in the tavern on Friday, but then the tavern's closed, and then everybody has to pay a fee because they couldn't drink in the tavern on Friday because they broke the law. This is like a parking scam. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this goes all the way to the top. This is a uh, yeah. All right, owns the honey pot. I love it. Okay, let's see what Freddie B. Let's see what our tavern owner is. Okay. Okay, another warlock, but not a genie one this time. <laughs> I really want to get an air warlock genie just so we can have all of the all of the different types of warlocks going. But they are a fiend, fiend one, and they are a Kalistar. Which I think... No, wait, is the Kalashar the Changeling, or are they something else? Hold on. Let me look it up. This is, like, this piece of music right here is very, like, slice of life anime. Like, they're, like, having a nice day walking down the street. Give me till tomorrow. <laughs> you got a bit backstory so tragic. Part of the guild, <laughs> good to see. Oh, why are these... Or, oh, is this just a... Oh, this is from Eberron. It might be, um, no, that's not what I should do. It might be like a family. A co what is this? A compound race created from the unit of humanity and renegade spirits from the plane of dreams. Dang. Damn. Okay. So they're kind of like a, uh, um. What an interesting tavern owner. What the heck is the the thing that's a creature okay. made from thought? Um, uh, no they're in the movie too that I I watched recently. Um, now that my brain needs to know this fact is completely left. They can speak telepathically to any creature they can see. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Critical Role things now. <laughs> Wait, 
wait a second, I know a character that can do that in Critical Role. They're supposed to be human. <laughs> they don't have message? No, well, they do, but they don't They don't need to use it. They can mm. just speak to anybody telepathically. Hello? Wait a second. Is Imogen a Kalashar and she doesn't know it? Or she does know and she's keeping a secret? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just thinking theories now. Okay, but our tavern owner can read anyone's thoughts as long as they can so see they them. always know what drink you're gonna they, order before you know they always know and they know what's going on in the town and they're looking at everybody let's see they're also dumb nobody in the town is very smart it's sad to say i think most people have a negative modifier there's a couple of wizards i think smarsh was a wizard so he's he's got intelligence you know um yeah, I, Tina, Tina sent me a message. I think Imogen is the is the character from Curl that can do that, read, oh. the, read the mind things. Um, but they're very charismatic, which tracks for a bar owner. Okay, let's see. Tulpa. A tulpa is a creature made from uh, human thought and belief in it. Okay. Lawful neutral. They obey laws according to their own strict code, and their code is... To help the thieves killed, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Um, they are also a part of the guild, but I mean, this is more like you know, once sold guild secrets. Oh, oh no. no! I mean, they can read everyone's mind, so yeah. I guess it makes sense. They they ratted out somebody. Maybe they didn't get caught yet or something. I don't know. Um, they have. They also have the mask of many faces, Eldritch. Uh, oh my god, I'm just thinking about how OP of a build this would be. You can read people's minds as long as you can <laughs> see them. And then you use Mask of Many Faces to look however you want. And you could look like somebody... Oh my god. <laughs> this would... And, oh, wow. This is crazy. This is a character idea forming for myself right now. I want to play this character. Um, all right. But this tracks, this tracks, sorry, I feel like I'm taking a longer time on this character. Brown, his mind is blown. It's just very cool. I want to, I love that the tavern owner can speak to people telepathically and, like, help them. Uh, like you said, they know your drink order every time you come in, not because you're a regular, but because they can read your, your thoughts. We need to have, like, a jingle for the, the tavern. The tavern jingle? You know how, like, in Puzzle, or in How oh, I Met Your Mother, Puzzles has a song. Like puzzles is a place where people come yep. feel like they belong. Well, if you want to get on that, I would say it would be a town a job for our town bard, but that's my mom and she's not really big on writing songs, ironically. I don't know why the first jingle that came to my mind was the parody Selena and Barnes. Okay. The honey pot people get drunk. Sure. So, I don't know what the street number is, but anyways. Up next we have CMB. CMB, okay. So I don't think CMB is here. I think they're live, actually. That's okay. We'll do a forum and we'll show them later. Yeah. So, go ahead and roll that d20 and let's see what job CMB has in the town. This is, this is, I'm having, no. Nope. nope, we already -roll. have a witch. Reroll. We already got one. Ooh, 19. They are the Temple Elder. <laughs> they're the Temple Elder. <laughs> Oh man, it's sad that they're not here because they could pick what our Wait, what is our town religion. Are they alive? I don't know if they're alive. Oh, see if CMB is here. <laughs> <laughs> I in... was gonna go into the chat and be like, I need to know what religion you are in D and D. <laughs> oh, CMB, welcome. Perfect, perfect timing. You, we just rolled for you. And you are the temple elder of our town, which means you get to post up in that sick ass, the biggest building that in the town right there, that huge one. And you get to tell everybody what the town religion is, if you want to, or we could come up with it. I don't know. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I don't know um, if you were here at all earlier, but this is a crime town. Yeah. It's a, cr a big crime syndicate that lives here, so I would just, like, keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh... The d, &D uh, Cthulhu. Yeah, Cthulhu <laughs> is in d, &D. <laughs> Or Great Old One. Yeah, the Great Old... You could just be... It could be more vague. 
the Church of the Great Old One, or it could be the the Temple of Cthulhu. Yeah. Whichever you prefer, but we'll go with we'll go with Temple of Cthulhu. I always gotta look how to spell it because I I never remember. Great. The Great Tentacle Man in the Sky. That's right. The Temple of Cthulhu. I love it. You do have quite a number of warlocks yeah. uh, in your village, so... This would be very chaotic. This, this would be very chaotic. Now, let's see what you are, though, as the, the leader of the church. What is your character? You're a wizard. Makes okay. Sense. I guess... Another autonome. You're an autonome, which means you're a gnome made of gears. And you're also in the guild, so <laughs> congratulations. I'm just uh, calling, assuming the guild is all one thing yeah. at this point. You like, don't, you don't leave the up, family. You're in the family. Yeah, this is like a mafia family town now, almost. Um, Let's see. You, I think, are the smartest person in the town. <laughs> this is all <laughs> working out. I feel like you, you... I mean, look at the flaw. It even makes sense. The flaw. Pays dues to crime lord. Smarsh. Yeah, you're a conjurer of cheap I'm tricks. I was about to say, of cheap tricks. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you pay your dues to the crime lord, which could be, could maybe Smarsh, but I assumed it was the mayor, actually. That would be the, the ruler of the crime uh, syndicate, the Oathbreaker Paladin level 20 mayor that you have. Um, let's see. You're seeking to impress the guild. Okay, so you're seeking to impress them by Welcome to the Guild, CMB. <laughs> yeah, um, one of the laws in our town is that everyone has to drink at Friday in the tavern. This is great. I love it. And so you're maybe as a religious leader of this village, you try and instill a sense of fear in the everyday common folk so that they turn to the leaders of the town, you know, and make sure that they pay their dues to the guild yeah. leaders. So, the, cri the crime syndicate leaders. This is great. And we're saving, saving all it. these character sheets so we can reference them later. But if we just, like, ro constantly roleplayed this village in chat, like, no matter what game we were playing, this was going on in chat. <laughs> I mean, this is... I don't know about everybody else, but I'm having a great yeah, time. This, this is, is hilarious. This is fun to me to think of, of this stuff like this. And next up, we have Davy. What about my temple, temple dues? dues? Listen, somebody's got to keep the common people in order, and that's CMB's job, okay? Uh, do we have a Davy in chat? And also, CMB demands tribute, and I demand that I need some wine. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me, Luna. I want to give you a little I pack. believe... It it's called tithe in the, yeah, the religious tithing. tithing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. This is a uh, this is great. I love that. I don't know what I was expecting honestly when we were creating this village, but village ruled by a leaning towards evil chaotic alignment guild was not what I was expecting, but here we are. <laughs> And it's great. But yeah, I don't think Davy is here. He's next. Who we're gonna oh, roll for. I have returned with Ronnie's adult juice. Oh, that Wait, lawful this good is up for one? interpretation. Huh? Well, unopened. It's unopened. Hey, did you drink all the other ones? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure. You have to be willing to make sacrifices. That's that's a very good point. D D does not often go where you expect it to go, so... Alright. Let me lift this back up before a cat causes a dangerous situation with it. And we shall roll for Davy. 17. Tax Collector! <laughs> Davy is the Tax Collector! Is that D-A-V-I? Is that how he spells it? Or Yeah, yeah. Davy. You shall make an excellent sacrifice for Cthulhu Smart. <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, maybe there's like some interpolitics here, like the the church is corrupt in their own way, demanding blood sacrifices. 
<laughs> and the guild is corrupt in the other way, where they're demanding money <laughs> sacrifices. <laughs> Can I help you, Luna? What are you doing? Everyone? She's, she's she, just sitting. She demands attention. Luna? Correct! How dare you accuse a man of the tentacle of corruption! <laughs> Blasphemy! Blasphemy! Oh, she's trying to lick her crotch and well, she's trying to pet her head. To pet her. Nobody wants to see that. Give her some privacy! Give her some privacy! <laughs> okay. So Davy is our tax collector. I I would uh, I would ask him for a quote, but he's not here to give a quote. No, for it's himself. clearly from Majesty Two when the tax collector walks around. He goes, "Tax collector." You remember that? His his quote is just "tax collector." Let me let me, this has got to be a sound on YouTube. I'm also giving this dwarf the nickname Harm. Ooh, sounds like a made up job to me. They're collecting taxes to give to the banker. And then everybody, I feel like everybody in this town would, like, skim a little bit off. Like, it starts with the tax collector, right? He skims a little for himself. And then the banker, Francesca, skims a little bit for herself. And then, you know, like, it just goes down oh, the line. Oh, just got placers on it. Boo! This, this town is destitute. Like, the people here might be miserable. <laughs> Are you done licking yourself? All right. Now? So we got Davy as the tax collector. Um, but we haven't rolled their race yet. I'm gonna say, yeah. Let me let me roll their character sheet, and then we might think of a quote for them. Ooh, we got the finish. Let me let me pop this up on stream. Ooh, oh! I love the burning in the. <laughs> <laughs> the longer you look at it, the better it gets. Uh, Cheska, I'm gonna change up your quote a little bit for Davy, <sighs> and I'm gonna say the banker, and I have an understanding. Since Davy's not here to to come up with a quote for himself, we're gonna we're gonna use that. Okay, let's see. Davy is our tax collector is a. Level 16 fighter champion? Okay, so you they're don't want to- They're a werewolf? You don't- and they're a werewolf? You don't want to fuck with this guy, okay? He- when he comes to collect the taxes, <laughs> you better pay, because he's gonna, like, absolutely destroy you. Uh, very strong, also pretty dumb, though, so definitely working for the smarter people in the town, uh, of who we know already. Criminal background seems pretty- Used to smuggle high tax goods. Yep, that's the trait. <laughs> right here. Used to smuggle high tax goods. There we go. It's perfect. It's, like it's perfect. Someone's listening to us. I know. Hi, Luna. Kill as a warning to others. Wow. You really don't want to fuck this <laughs> guy. <laughs> Seeks to rise within the Thieves' Guild, a.k.a. the Adventurers' Guild, which have become one and the same <laughs> at this point, and overconfident on jobs. Oh, boy. Yeah, you really don't want to mess with uh, with this tax collector. I, <laughs> I don't know how everybody got negative intelligence. It's so... <laughs> Most of the people in this town are dumb, but the people who aren't dumb, they're the ones that are running things. They're pulling the strings. Basically, they're pulling the strings, exactly. Oh, the werewolf. There's two were tigers in the town too. This yeah. Is a, this is a were heavy town. So would like a werewolf or the were tigers baby be like a mule? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds more like a deck collector. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's basically what Davy is for this town. I feel like. Oh boy, this is this is great. Luna, don't do it. Don't do it. Go sit in the cat tree. Don't, don't, I see you looking up. Don't do it. Don't do it, Luna. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking over here. Okay. All right, you ready Perfect. for the next one? I'm ready one? for the next one. Next up, we got Day Night Duo. Oh, Duo. I'm guessing they're not in, uh. Um, Probably not. In the, the stream right now. But if they are, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you five seconds, everybody. 
Let's give them five seconds to see if Duo is in the chat. I mean, it's still like five o'clock. They might just like be getting out of work now. That's true. They're probably, <laughs> they're probably at work still. All right. That was five seconds. Yeah. I just wanted to see if they, if just by luck, like CMB just chimed in as we were doing his, like maybe they would be like, oh, I'm here too, you know? All right. You want to go ahead and roll? I'm here. I'm just, I got distracted by the, the low five vibes. <laughs> A one! The first farmer. <laughs> okay, so this is a day. Is it NIGHT, right? Yeah. Duo. Is our first farmer. And what I was going to ask anybody who got the farmer is what did they farm? What is the, the produce or the animals that our town is known for? Um, this might seem kind of meme but I feel like with the way this town is going, it feels like there would be, like, a weed farmer here or something. <laughs> Some, maybe, like, something, something like that, no, you know? No, they claim to be poppy farmers, but they make heroin. Ooh, poppy, yeah, there we go. But that's what they make heroin out of, Luna. Poppies. They, they could run the poppy farm, or... Pig farmer to smuggle in the diamonds. See, okay, that's a good. I like that one too. Yeah, I was trying to think of like an animal. Like, what kind of animals yeah. would we? I, I like the pig farmer. So I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna go with that. Pig farmer who smuggles in the diamonds. Smuggles and in you know the diamonds kind of go well with the church. And the philosopher, because yeah. the philosopher is a cleric who has the power to revive people. And just technically speaking, in D and D, you need diamonds to revive people. So, Duo is providing that service of the diamonds to the to the rest of the town. Okay, but let's see what Duo is. Day, night, Duo. Day, night, Luna. They're a bard! Oh! College of Lore? I guess, like, that kind of makes sense. If you were a farmer, you would know, like, a lot of seasonal they're, stuff. They're a sea elf? <laughs> 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 I didn't put us near the ocean, but we could be, potentially. You never know. Um, Not super smart, but maybe a little bit smarter than most of the people in this town end up being. Pretty charismatic. Pretty stealthy, good at persuasion, so that when the people come to inspect these pigs, you know, they're like, they're just pigs, uh, officer from the other cities that came to look at our shady small town. Um, they hide a forbidden love. Our enemies must all die. Dreams with animal spirits. The pigs. They sleep with the pigs and ignorant of technology. They don't know what's going on. They're just here to farm the pigs. Yeah. Get those diamonds moved throughout the town. Okay. I like it. I, I thought, I mean, a level 18 bard <laughs> is yeah. pretty insane to be the, the pig farmer, you know? That's like, but maybe they're like- They have um, power word kill. Maybe they're like, <laughs> oh, they do have power word kill. Yeah, they're another couple streamer. Yeah, they're, they're a couple, uh, streamer. Day and I do. They're very cool peeps, so you definitely check them out. They do really cool, like, drum streams. They do some drum streams with Mel. Um, Cass, Cass. Cass is really cool. She's been playing all of the... What? Uh, I know you know them, but... Are you, oh, were you saying the characters are, are the oh, characters? Oh, yeah, I was assuming they people. also, like, live together. Sure, yeah, we'll say that... They're actually two level nine bards. <laughs> they're two level nine bards, but they're so good at lying, they persuaded people into thinking they're They're like the, the, what are the two brothers from the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh? Who have the, the labyrinth that they make Yu-Gi play in, and they have the water god the card? Uh, I don't know. Okay. There's their character sheet. Save that. Okay. I really like, I would like if I could find a more condensed one that just gave the stats and uh, this top part and then this part yeah, over yeah. here, you know? Like, we don't need all this other stuff um, yeah. for this necessarily. Well, and that's what my original plan was, was to make character sheets in here, have them prep, and then we just rolled the stats. 
we rolled their traits and stuff, and that's all we did. But this way, we don't have to enter it at all. It yeah, just yeah. It. Yeah. All right. All right. We're getting who's near it? the end. Who's next? We got Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Okay. Zero Stark. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and... Er... Yeah, go ahead and you do it. Oh, you already got it copied and pasted. You're good to go. I went there with your raids. Yeah, it, it'll be... I'll say it'll be for both of them. Jesse is the prostitute. Wow, uh, okay, Jesse is the brothel, uh, madame, the owner of the brothel. Zero Stark, I'm putting his, uh, his, uh, name in there. Yeah. So he's the owner of the brothel. I was gonna ask the brothel madame what the name of our town brothel was. You can always text Jesse and ask. Well, I mean, I guess so, but I, it feels weird to be like, hey, Jesse, if you were the owner of a brothel, what would you name it? He plays D&D. He knows his questions. <laughs> but, um, let's see. What what fits the theme of this village? I'm trying to think of something that's like... Um, uh, My brain was like, because it's the suburbs, the, bur the bourbons, or something like that. The bourbons? Uh, yeah. Why is that? The burbs. I think go for it. <laughs> I just sent him the text. Oh, um, oh my god. Let's see. Brothel in the suburbs. Hey, if you were a brothel owner, I'm reading out loud. I'm texting him this right now. What would you name the brothel? Broth. Hey, <laughs> our subscriber. I see the gears turning in Rodney's head as he tries to spell subscriber. I'm but I'm multitasking a lot of things. The brothy, brothy. We'll see if he responds. Um, but if not, we'll go with the frothy brothy. My brain took frothy brothy and we decree. <laughs> we but the, the the brothel madame is supposed to come up with the uh It's called the My Dam. My Dam? Yeah. But anyways, let's roll the character sheet. Oh wait, wait. Okay. Roll the character sheet. Roll the sheet! Roll the highlight film! Oh, he said he's gonna hop in the stream. Okay. Let's see. What Jesse's brothel madame is. Oh, we got a wizard kobold! <laughs> Who also runs the brothel? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, it's probably another another smart person in the guild or in the in the town. It's so good. Oh. Can yeah. you imagine if you got broth and it was frothy, like you ordered soup? <laughs> I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about frothy soup. That sounds not good to me. Um, chaotic neutral. Okay. Also part of the guild. We're just assuming it means part of the, uh, corrupt- The family. The family. The only survivor of a wildfire. Oh, mm. they survived the Harmony's first How attack. interesting. Perhaps there's some relation to the town philosopher there? Something like that? Favorite among elves? <laughs> a reputation for inflated prices. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Is this, that, is this code for fake boobs? How it always be at the brothel. They always charging you so much, right? They inflate the places as the boobs I inflate. I do love that a kobold... Is this kobold? I missed one. <laughs> <laughs> Vendetta. The one who got away. Uh, oh, jeez. Goddamn. Alright, well... Okay, is 44 year old Cobalt? Do they even live that long? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that. Average. Jeez. 
Let's see. Let's see. What do they got? They did disintegrate. If you don't pay, if you don't pay the brothel, madame, you'll just be disintegrated. Can you imagine you go to fight a kobold and it casts disintegrate (laughs) on you? Yeah. I know that kobolds were officially added as like a monster race. Yeah. Like. All right. Well, we'll. I'll save this. And then while we're waiting, we. And we'll and we'll we'll wait on the name. Jesse said he was gonna hop in, so yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll wait on the name, but we do have our kobold brothel madame owner. And the last one we have is a brothel bathhouse. A brothel is where prostitutes are sold. Yeah, well, it's not. It's like where women work, and you can make money. By sleeping hey. with people, yeah. you know, it's like OnlyFans, but in real life, <laughs> it's like OnlyFans, but you get the touch. All right, them. hello, Jesse. Uh, yeah, we're building this D and D village out, and we rolled for you to because you su- are a subscriber, and <laughs> the brothel swan song. Is that the name of the brothel? The swan song. <laughs> the swan song. Yeah, you are the you're the brothel madame or the the sir, I guess. You're a kobold. Wizard, you're a level twelve kobold <laughs> wizard, <laughs> and you you own the brothel. And so I was just asking because we were asking people if they were here, what would you like? What would you name the brothel since you're the the owner of the brothel? And um, this is a corrupt crime town, and everybody has to drink on Friday at the town. Yeah. So. And the mayor is a level twenty oathbreaker paladin. <laughs> So you don't mess with her. <laughs> but yeah, Jesse, if you had an idea for uh, what you wanted to name the brothel, I'll I'll go ahead and put it here. We I'm just saving all this information in case we want to like make a Discord server or something for it. But we have a we have a pretty interesting town that's going on here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. We also have a kitty on my lap. He's so cute. She's actually the brothel, madam. She actually looks kind of angry. Are you mad, Luna? Yeah, because she can't sit in your lap, so she has to sit in my lap. I do like the idea of calling it Swan Song. Yeah. That's like, the, for some reason, that feels like a very fitting name for a brothel in this town, especially. Yeah. For or like the Black game. Swan would also make sense. Yeah. The, the Diamond Swan? <laughs> The tentacle swan? No. Black swan. Okay, that's what we're gonna call it for for now. I just can't get over you being a kobold with disintegrate. Right? That's some horrifying shit. Swan brothel. Alright. Yeah, so. People be yelling outside. Yeah, there's lots of people yelling outside. Yeah, well, that's, it's perfect, I think. So we'll go ahead and keep it as that. So who did you say the last the one? The last one is Jeff. Jeff! Okay. Jeff! Drunkle? Yeah, Drunkle716. All right. I guess, uh, Jeff, if you're in chat, this is your chance. Uh, 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 Jeff is live. Jeff is live. He's not here. He's probably playing Grand Theft Auto, which I just find oddly fascinating to actually watch him play that. Like, I didn't realize Grand Theft Auto had... The, those intense of, like, roleplay yeah. servers and stuff. Like, nobody breaks, you know? You're building a new bookshelf. Oh. Also, just so you know, black swans are symbolic of occultism. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, perfect sent your temple. Yeah, the Grand Theft Auto, I'm assuming Harmony is what you mean. Yeah, he's, like, really into it. He, like, doesn't break it. Yeah. He doesn't even, like, sometimes he'll answer chats and, like, Say stuff to people, most of the time he's, like, dialed in. I literally sat there and watched his stream for, like, two hours, and I didn't even realize that much time had gone by, because I was like, I'm like, what the heck? These people are really, like, they're, like, acting out everything. It's yeah. great. It's crazy. Anyway, let's see what Jeff is in the town. Are we Go ahead and ready for the, the final roll? Go ahead and do the roll. I think we rolled that one. Or, he he could be another lord or lady, though. No, he we could gotta be lord, get something that's not here. He could be Lord Jeff. Yeah, he could be The Sims. 
What? Why did you look at me? Oh, because it rolled the same. Two sixteens back to back. I feel like they're just saying he's determined to be a lord. Eighteen local is druid. the local druid slash hermit. He could be the hermit instead. Um. Okay. So this is. How do you spell his? Is this right? Yeah. Seven one six. Yep. Okay. Show me. <laughs> Luna, <laughs> show me my 20. I think it it seems like if people enter it at the same time, it kind of yeah. glitches out a little bit. So, yeah. All right. So Jeff is our local hermit. And Stone Cold Steve Hermit. Or, look, and Druid slash Hermit. Stone Cold <laughs> Hermit. <laughs> and I was like, what What would a quote that like our, our hermit Druid would have? And, I mean, this is Jeff, so maybe something like, I don't know, something like hops are the purest thing from nature or something like that. I don't yeah. know, something like that. Like, I'm trying to think of, what would it, what would a druid IPA? say? More he's, like IP nay. I feel like he's not very involved. He could be slinging some Mary Jane on the side, too. He, I feel like he's not very involved with the crime stuff having, having soda from the rivers? What does that mean? What? Is that a saying for something that I, I Or is that like a about? show we don't know about? Hmm. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to think of something that happened when we were in Nashville together that could like fit with this. Mm-hmm. He did. He could be very confrontational. Remember when he yelled at that one kid about how his legs were skinny for like 20 minutes on the street? So you want him to just yell something? <laughs> he could be like the crazy guy. Sure, yeah. I mean, he's a hermit, so when he comes he, into he, town... He speaks exclusively like Doodle Bob. Let's, let's see what, let's see what we got <laughs> for his, uh, his character here. What an other word like take up, not like drawing on paper. Oh, um, like pulling soda from the rivers? Draining soda? Drain the swamp. Gosh. He's our swamp swarm keeper. He's a swamp keeper. Perfect. He's and actually he's, Weevil Underwood. He's a war wear bore. I might have to take out the wear options on the randomizer, because it feels like it really likes those, and we're not getting a lot of the other normal races, you know? Yeah. His swarm. He sends the bees to pollinate their plants. Let's see. Let's, let's do something like... Maybe his quote is just like this. No. Dr. Bees! I don't My think Ronnie's ever seen that video. I don't know what doctor is. I'll have to show it to you after the stream. Oh, okay. It's a YouTube video about a man named Dr. Beast. <laughs> uh, alright, let's see. No surprise on the intelligence there, the way this is going. That is a throwback. He's very dexterous. Like, let's see. He, uh, he's actually an acolyte. Uh, maybe he follows the church, the Temple of Cthulhu. Maybe he follows his own, uh, weird druid, uh, god. I feel like he... For, what? what do you mean? Yeah. Child of an infamous warlock. Uh, who is his parents in this village? Yeah, there's a, there's couple a lot warlocks of warlocks in this village. One stole from temple funds. Okay, so definitely doesn't get along with CMB in the Temple of Cthulhu. Yeah. Because he's, he's, stolen, he's stolen money from the church, so he definitely is uh, not, not cool with the, the local clergy. Yeah, that would be at the the local hermit slash druid Druckle, aka Jeff. Castration! <laughs> <laughs> They're stealing temple funds, okay? It is kind of perfect that they are the hermit and they got the swarm keeper uh swarm keeper class. Yeah it does make it just makes sense. You be making sense, okay. Alright, and that was our last sub for this month. So, my question is going forward, are we gonna just re-roll everyone every time and make like a new suburb? Or are we gonna like keep building off of this? I don't know. Like, do we... Do we think, like... 
the funds go to the black swan, I support this. <laughs> Do we think, like, I don't know, I guess we'd have to see, like... What does... Chat. What this think. turns into. Like, do we keep these characters for a month, and then at the end of next month, we do this again, and you can kind of, like... I, I kind of want to make a Discord. Yeah, I kind of want to make, like, a Discord where we can, like, roleplay stuff. So, like, yeah, and, like, I mean, like, I really should set up our Discord to be good. It's not good right now. Uh-huh. We could do that and put a server in there for it. Yeah. Wait, can I? I want to be in this town. You oh yeah, me. we gotta roll ourselves. Roll me in, baby. I want to be something. Yeah, keep it for. I want to at least for this next month. Okay. For March, I would keep it, and then. Yeah, maybe. Are you home Wednesday? Yeah. Like Wednesday, we could like send up a Discord server. Yeah, I like that. Cause I'm off on Wednesday too. Okay, and I kept track of everything, so I could, like, put it in there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're rolling Ronnie. Oh, yeah! There definitely are. I think even D&D Beyond has a Discord bot oh, I didn't know that. that you can, like, use, I think. I'd have to look into it. But yeah, we could look into it. Oh, on Thursday. Okay, so you won't be here for this weekend. Eight. Got eight, so I'm the first shopkeeper slash merchant. Oh yay! The, uh, great, I love this. Okay, um, so this is me. This is real. This is me. This is who I want. Musical. Name that musical. Um, I don't know what musical is that. Camp Rock. Okay. Uh, How excuse am I... me, Demi and the Jonas Brothers? Like, you're not even the millennial. Okay, well, since I am the only shopkeeper so far, I wanna, I definitely want, I want to own... The record store. I, I own the magic shop. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and, um, it's called the... It's called the... I'm trying to think. Of, I wanted to go with the rest of the themes of like Cthulhu and Crime Lords. The polyamorous and tentacle. The, the, I said I'm owning the magic shop, not the brothel. Okay, the polyamorous <laughs> tentacle is like a special you can get there because of, <laughs> of cause that's of, a local <laughs> drink, a specialty drink. That's the specialty drink that's served at the tavern with the uh, who's our who's our tavern owner? I forgot who the tavern owner was. Uh, oh, Freddie B, the yeah. honeypot. Right, right. Um, I'm gonna say this magic shop is called. Um, I'm trying to think of something with like fence in the name, because you like fence stuff. To see if, see you're if you are dark. dark. Okay, let's see. Why well, kind of like a fence? Because, like, when you fence an when item... You fence goods. Yeah, like, when you fence goods. Alright, let's see, what am I on? Fence... Because Joseph, or, um... Who... Jason had a magical oh. fleece, right? I am lawful good. Yeah, he did have a magical fleece. Fleeced fences? Fenced fleeces? Fenced <laughs> fleeces? Jason's... Jason's fenced fleeces. I'm a druid. Jason's fenced fleeces. I don't want to call it that. I'm a Thanks circle. for the lurk. Thank you for the lurk. I'm a circle of dreams, Druid. I'm an Asimar. Not ass. Yo, you know what? I'm not smart, but I'm wise as fuck, so I'll take it. I am lawful good, but it does say I'm part of the... I secretly sell to smugglers. Oh, look at this. Circle of dreams. It is very cool. I think it's in um, Tasha's, and it's related to, like, fey magic. So... Street smart, but not book smart. Street, exactly. I'm very street smart, which I need. I'm just in it for the money. I am see and I secretly sell sell to smugglers. So you know what? I'm I'm part of the family. I'm part of the family. This is perfect. Secretly sells to smugglers, even though you're lawful good. We allow you to guild because you look after our people. Exactly. I'm lawful good, but like the law I mean, of our town. I was like, who? Like, who? If you're lawful good, how are you we have good a, if you don't care of the take care of the less reputable people in town? Sure. Exactly. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm... Uh, I'm Circle of Dreams, so I changed my mind. I want my um, shop to be called, like, the Dreamers... Uh, my brain really wants it to be something with the word somambulism, which means to sleepwalk. Dreamers! I, I, all I can think of the is The ambling Emporium. dreamer. Sure. The ambling? Is that how you spell this? Yeah. No. Yes? Yes. Dreamer. That's the magic shop that I own, and I, I can hook you guys up with whatever magical goods you need. Um, whether that be... And you know what? I'm glad I am a magic class. It would have been really funny if I was a fighter. Though, <laughs> just I, like I owned a magic shop, but it yeah. makes sense that I'm a I'm a druid. I mean, like Toy Story. Yeah, the, like Toy Story. But you know what? Yeah. It's fine. We're gonna call it the Ambling Dreamer. Ambling Dreamer is magical emporium. That's the full name. Um, there we go. Wait, Ambling Dreamer. A. E M E the A A D M E add me. Yo, we go in the add me to buy some magical goods later. Sure. You win. I just want to see. Also, I'm not as high level. I have mass cure wounds and polymorph. This is what happens when they use chain lightning and it takes up the village. You use mass cure wounds. <laughs> exactly. When the town inevitably burns down for the 500th town time, I'm there. Okay. I am the do final wanna, person. Do you want to? Do you want to be in this? I I I'm clearly the Cthulhu of this universe. Are you? I didn't put. I'd that. actually be more like the Alpha Tap or something. I didn't put that as a thing. Anyways, I got a four, so I'm a philosopher. You're all... <laughs> but I have a rival philosophy. Are you okay? You want to be a rival philosopher? Yeah, I'm the local. Okay. Uh, uh... What's your what's your philosophy? My brain was tried to say existentialist, nihilist, and absurdist all in the same word, and it broke my head for a second. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm like I'm like Immanuel Kant. What does that mean? So he had this whole thing where he was like, you can't, you have to trust that everyone. You know, like, someone tells you, like, this is a glass, right? So, as a human being, you have to trust that this is a glass, because you can never know all of human knowledge. Okay. So, Kant did this whole experiment where he, like, reduced all the knowledge he knew down to the smallest fundamental he could prove to himself and rebuilt his knowledge up. So, I'm just around being like, but can you prove to me that this is the right thing to do? I'm, it's, it's, I'm crazy. Yeah, but prove it. That... It's also the right thing Kant, to do. Kant had a cool picture. Look at how cool this dude looked. Yeah. So Harmony is talking about uh, no tears for the writer, no tears for the reader, and Ian's just talking about can you prove uh, to me that you're doing the right thing? You saying that to the people? Can you prove that a glass is a glass? Exactly. This is what I look like in this universe too. Do we look like a French noble? Maybe. He was German, I believe. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I just saw the powdered wig and Can I just think France. Can you prove a glass is a glass? All right. Well, there we go. We got everybody. Harmony, you got a rival philosopher. And Ian, uh... <laughs> You've got a rival Jim, philosopher. Uh, you can argue or not with him. You've got a rival Maybe Ian philosopher. just comes and yells and you're just like, hey, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I don't need to listen to you. This is stressing me out. I've got my own uh, philosophy and follower right here, so there we go. We didn't end up with, um, you know, some some of these things. We didn't ever end up with the Thieves Guild, which is interesting, but the, the we didn't end up with any town guards, which also kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um, since the whole town is corrupt, no blacksmith. Also, or everyone prior. seems to be pretty proficient at guarding themselves. <laughs> I mean, we're all pretty high level, so it's, you know, nobody's gonna steal from us. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's our little town. Burn bridges, make, make rivals. rivals. <laughs> I hope everyone has as much fun with this as I did. This was very amusing. Yeah, and we'll see you about on Wednesday. Building a server. Like, we can set up, because, like, I need to set up, like, the Discord server so it has, like, the landing and everything. 
So, like, we can work on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can work on the Discord server to make this, because I would love to, like, roleplay, uh... Not like it's like it's just fun. Like could just we fun. Could, like if there was a bot that could give us a random event for the city every day, like yeah. you know like you wake up and you like look at the Discord and then it's like it's like, you know, this morning the cornfield was struck by lightning is on fire. How does everyone react? Right. You know? Harmony's like, let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it it could be interesting to have it be progressive. I think we'll see how this first month goes, and yeah. then that will determine what we're gonna do. It's a work in progress. Week. Yeah, but I love like some of the stuff that you guys came up with. It's so good and so much better than anything that I could come up with. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love tell your friends, here. tell your enemies, bring them next time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um. So, do you want to end? Do you want to do something? What do you feel like, like doing? Listen, if you let me do what I want, I'm going to play Elden Ring. Okay, I don't think we should play Elden Ring, because then we're going to be playing until like midnight, and I have to get up early and go to work tomorrow. You were telling people about it this morning? Yes. <laughs> All right. We could do... Oh, wait, no, we could do um some casual, like, uh... Uh... What's the... the spelling game we have. <laughs> play Hades. <laughs> we can play Hades. Do you mean words with friends, or what do you... Or... Yeah, I mean, it's not words with friends, but it's like, it. remember if chat types in the words to try and guess them on the screen. What is that called? It's not called words with friends. No, words with friends is the online scrabble from Facebook. I don't remember what it's called. Um, But anyways, we can do Hades. If you want, I don't care. You. All right, we can do that. Um. So, first we do this. Oh, I never rolled for you. Oh yeah, Brownie tried to not give me a character sheet at all. I'm she sorry. She knew I would be too powerful. No, Wordle's the New York Times thing. Um, it's different. It's kind of like, um. Oh, Ronnie's doing this, I'll find it. It's a, you are also a druid. Integrated spelling. You're something called a scourge asmar. Words on stream. Yeah, yeah, we found it at the same time. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry. This is you. You're lawful neutral. Druid is maybe my least favorite D&D class, so this is fitting. You're one of the lowest level people in this village, I'll have you I'm know. one of the so. lowest level people on Earth. And you are also just in it for the money, and you're deeply jealous of other success, so... I'm level four. He's level four, yeah, he's... Sorry, level four. Circle of the Coastal, which I don't know what that means. Um... I'm Jason Momoa. But, I i mean, I should look, because I think you can change, like, what it can select from. It might be selecting from, like, some homebrew stuff for this, but... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So many people are in it for the money. Maybe it just knows where it, try it wants to make, like, a bunch of characters that work well together, in case you were rolling uh, NPCs for a campaign or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we can do some words on stream or Hades, whichever you prefer. Yeah. I know Ronnie has been on a Hades kick lately. I have been playing a lot of Hades lately. She like, was late to stream by like 10 minutes yesterday because she was like, I just need to finish this run. It wasn't 10 minutes. She's lying. It was like 5 minutes. Well, well, well. Anyway. Anyway. Also, I started... <laughs> yeah. I started, um, fleshing out what I'm calling Nefarious Nuptials. Yeah. My D&D &D one-shot idea where... Yeah! Good luck with your bookshelf. 11 times in a row? Oh my god. Um, I don't think I've ever done that. And it, where it's a D&D &D one-shot, though, that takes place at a wedding uh, where the characters have to deal with 
wedding scenarios, and it's meant to be funny, fun, and uh, yeah, I, I'm having a lot of, I started working on that today. 